when you look at a school system, when you look at a learning system, it's really about a community of learners because learning doesn't take place in isolation. We're in the classroom, we're teaching our students. Yes, it's an important role, but our school would not function without the people who feed our students, the people who care for our students and look out for their health by maintaining the cleanliness of our sites. Cleaning a school isn't easy, but our custodian Derek has made a difference. He cleans our restrooms, our lunchroom, and really everything else, and that's really helpful. Really making it a great place to be. I've known him three years because he started, I think, in my fourth grade year. He's just been this really awesome guy. So I think of our Latino liaison at Mopitas High School, Ms. Norma Morales. She connects with students that maybe uh, need more support, whether it's academic, whether it's emotional, uh, whether there's resources that they need to get in touch with to help their families um, and help their students be more successful in the classroom. Whenever I go into the office, all of the secretaries at the schools I've been to seem to be juggling eight things at once, and it just astounds me how they're able to do that. Kids can be wonderful, and kids can be very trying, and the patience that I continue to see from our classified staff is just admirable. Without our classified team members, it just wouldn't work. You know, I think that they're a dedicated group of people who in their own way, they're also educators. You know, they support us in educating the kids. They treat the kids with such kindness and respect. I love my job because I love to help people. You know, when, when I first started, it was just a job. With time being here so long, you get to know what's important. You have to solve problems so that these kids can learn and do good in school and, and the teachers can be good teachers. I feel that us as aides, we are in these kids' bubbles. I mean, we are their hands, we are their voice, we are their eyes, we are their feet. We do absolutely everything for these kids. The biggest thing I tend to do as a para is listen. When we were on campus, I sat outside at lunchtime. I had my little table and my little groups would come and sit with me. And I think it's just, there's always kids that need that extra help. One of the classified employees that I would like to mention is Ms. Adams. She had made a substantial impact in my life, I'm gonna be honest. You know, sometimes we do things because that's the way things have always been done. Our students sometimes need a different way. Prior to the pandemic, the unemployment rate for people with disabilities was double what it was for people without disabilities. So the whole point and the goal of programs like Workability and Transition Partnership Program are to close that gap. You know, I believe that there's an essential role. I believe there's a fundamental role in the life of a person where classified employees are the main arbiters of what it means to be an adult and serve as a gateway to adulthood. I see the freedom and the independence that it gives and really just being able to navigate employment once they leave us. And so I think we'd see an even higher unemployment rate if myself and others like me weren't doing this job. Had it not been for her help and encouragement, there will be a lot of hindrance of my growth as a me being an adult. It's most certainly changed my life. When we see them normally in library, they come right, Miss Becky, Miss <laughs> Becky. And the parents tell you, oh my gosh, yes. I can now take my kid out to a restaurant and mm -hmm. he's not running around, he's learned to sit. I know how important the library is for these kids. If I had lots and lots of money, I would put an aid in every classroom because I think that teacher needs that. It's good if you have a pair that stays with a, a child for a number of years because they can have that leg up and have that relationship with the students. My son sees reading staff that works with his teacher and he absolutely loves that half hour that he has with Miss Natasha. We meet with her every Thursday and she works with all the intermediate students that need help on reading. I think I wouldn't be good at reading if I without her. She's helped me become a better reader and helped me not skip sentences. Our whole goal is to make sure that no child is left behind. We're all helping each other to show the students that we're here for them. And that's what we want for all of our children when they go to school, is to feel cared for. And classified staff really offer that for my kids. They're wonderful. I would like to say thank you. Without you, our schools would not be able to function as smoothly as they do. It falls apart, I feel. They make me smile, they make me happy. You know, the, how much work they put into the kids. Some of them are part of the community. We can connect, we can connect with these families. We can hear them when they express what they're going through. 
then we reach out and we help them. We're in difficult times right now, and but the mission is is the same, you know, to help people. As of last week, I had 105 tickets on my queue. <laughs> Sometimes technology is a challenge, you know, but we got to reassure them that they're gonna they're gonna be okay. We're all gonna be. Okay. I just I love my job. I I don't know how to put it all in small words, you know, but I believe that we make a difference and that's what we're here for to make that difference we we are essential are essential are essential are essential I'm essential. And I'm essential. We're essential. essential.